something like that, but unfortunately 16 and a half million people will never discover us in Southern California. But I'll take the other half million. That's all right. right. All well, right. I know there are good people that turn out here. There certainly are. All the way around. Customers and entertainers and everybody travels a long way to come here and here we are. Doing business. Been here for almost 11 years now. So, how long, is, okay. how long has the building been here? This building has been here since 1926. I've actually seen photographs of it from the back side with the 1926 cars here. And uh, the uh, rumor was that it, it, it's, not a, it's not a rumor, it's made of cast concrete, solid concrete. It's gone through the 1929 uh, earthquake and all the earthquakes since then. And it's fireproof and made of solid concrete. I understand there was a huge building project going on uh, up on North Lake, probably because of the red cars. And they figured as long as they had concrete coming in here that they would just 
for this building, which is a second story, a two story building. And, uh, and they did, and it's just a wonderful building, and evidently it will last, uh, it and the pyramids will be, uh, will crumble at the same time. That kind of a building. So if, if anything horrible happens in all of Los Angeles, this is the place to be. All right. Well, it has a long history of being a gathering place from what you told It has. I think that this room originally was a playhouse. And the doors uh, out back there are uh, go, go out to the parking lot, and that was the loading dock for all of the props in the playhouse. And this was probably before the 1930s, before the big Wall Street crash. As a matter of fact, that this was probably a um, a gathering spot for all the folks in Altadena for community playhouses. So it's been a central place in Altadena uh, for um, 85 years, 87 years. So it has a good history. And we hope to add to that history. Well, I know just one of the bands that you helped get started with back at the Ice House days was the association. Oh, yeah. The association was uh, were, were my employees, literally. They were folk singers who were kind of starting people or middle of the road. And uh, Rush Chiguer was the, my sound and light man there. And uh, that was one of those wonderful groups that um, where the, the uh, sum was so much greater than the, uh, the, than the parts. I mean, it just worked perfectly. And we were fortunate enough to have them during the whole uh, uh, introductory uh, uh, portion of their career. And I got to promote their first record. And they, uh, when they finally left the Ice House, um, they had a number three record in the charts. So it was, it was fun. That, that was one of the best of the, of the starts. Well, you've got an interesting thing here. I have to ask it you about nice, this. It is nice, isn't it? Isn't that nice? It's just, you know, this is, the, what we had here was the fork in the road, and uh, this got on all the television shows in L.A., all of the news shows, which uh, they ran it from 11 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, and that was their teaser of the fork in the road. And um, it was in the Los Angeles Times and the Star News, and. It was in uh, it was in the Chicago Tribune. Uh, I also uh, think that it was uh, in a couple of places on television in Minnesota and in Florida. And it was, uh, of course, we have a blog on it. But what we did was uh, for my birthday, my uh, my my partner Ken, uh, I had told him years ago that since we were a gallery, that what we should have is something uh, of, of art on the outside to bring people. In. So I said, on the corner of Pasadena Avenue and St. John Place, there is a plot of land where the roads go this way. And I said, what we need is a fork in the road. So when people come down here, they can take their choice on which way to go. So he let that cook for about 10 years. Didn't do anything about it. And on my birthday, uh, I was gotten out of my house by one of my friends who said, just be ready at 10 o'clock. And so uh, I did, and I got in the car, and we drove down there, and just as we turned the corner, here was this 18-foot high fork weighing 800 pounds in the middle of the plot of land here, which, of course, is the fork where the two roads uh, separate. So it became very famous, and uh, uh, it's sort of guerrilla art in Pasadena. We hope that it'll stay forever somewhere, somewhere in Pasadena. And then this is a little uh, depiction of the Christmas fork in the road. And uh, so, and it's still down there. I hope you guys get a chance to go down and see it and maybe film a little of it, because it's really pretty spectacular. And don't get run over. I'll try not to see that. Don't go out stagnant in the middle of the street, because you will surely get hit by a car. I wouldn't like that at all. Well, I'm the next concert to tell you that. Well, Bob, it's been a pleasure. I hope so. And I want to thank you so much. Well, thank you, Sandy, for coming. I really appreciate you and your crew coming down here and spending some time with us and telling the world about our little coffee gallery backstage in exotic Altadena, California. And um, if people want to find out what the upcoming concerts are, they can go to coffeegallery.com www.coffeegallery.com, uh, no, yes, www that'll take you to the web page, or just say Coffee Gallery Backstage Pasadena or Altadena, and uh, Google or Bing will take you right to it.
and we have lots of pretty pictures and, and things coming up and uh, we also have blogs and uh, all of the newspaper stories and things that were on television are all there in pictures and uh, have a good time. It's, it's good stuff. I think you'll enjoy it. This is the love of my life, baby. I feel it every time that we touch. Right here with me and my guitar and you. Stay.